Shalom Yasharala. First and foremost, I'd like to start this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechaha Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this 100% truth. Double salutations to, to the Archim out there spreading this word in truth and sincerity and shalom to the few aqua that are listening in today and back at you with another lesson entitled fear the lord okay because um you know especially in the times that we're living in now it must remain crucial that we fear yahweh by shim yahweh shai okay you know, because um, they're in control of all things, ultimately. You know, everything, not one thing goes down unless it be sanctioned by the Heavenly Father, man. Okay? And, um, you know, when it comes to this truth as well, what we're involved in is deadly serious, man. You know, we've been appointed this word... Which ultimately, once we learn the word, we it's also our duty to teach, okay? To bring fruit, right? And you know, the scripture dis, um, describes Yahweh Shai as a very austere man, you know? So um, we, we want to make sure that we're putting our best foot forward in this ministry and, you know, coming... And, you know, uh, speaking in 100% truth when we do these lessons, man. Okay. So, you know, just just uh, having that fear of the Lord on you, ultimately, you know, that will always turn out in your favor. Right. You know, the scriptures say that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of all wisdom. And we're going to get into that. So, you know, yeah, I just wanted to bring out a few precepts. To emphasize the point on uh, fearing the Lord, man. Let me just take a sip of this water. <clears throat> Without further ado, let's bring out these precepts. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 5, verse 21, and it reads, Hear now this. O foolish people, and without understanding, which have eyes and see not, which have ears and hear not. And you know, that's pretty much two thirds of our people, man. Two thirds of our people, they can't receive this uh, wisdom, knowledge and understanding. You know, they've got their mind fully invoked in the world and they can't, they can't see past this world, man. You know, they, they, um, they can't see a future without Esau, Edom ruling. You know, because Esau, Edom has been has been on top for a while, man. You know, the past 500 or so years, Esau, Edom has been in power. And, um, you know, Jake don't see it any other way now. You know, you have Christianity in which um, they put up a picture of uh, Cesare Borgia, you know, which is an Edomite, so-called white man. And, you know, you've actually got Jake that are, are fully invested into the into the religion of Christianity, man, in which you know, if you're an Israelite, an Israelite in 2023, and you believe in Christianity, man, like you're just a fool, man, you know, and 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 you deserve what's coming for you, unless you repent, okay. So you know they don't they don't hear the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. They don't understand that the Heavenly Father He speaks through His men, who are who the servants, the prophets, man. You know, Luke 1 and 70, Hosea 12 and 10 uh, uh, proves that point, man. The beginning of 2nd Ezra 15, right? The Lord has always spoken through his men, his prophets, right? But, but um, two thirds of the nation of Israel, they can't hear, right? So let's read on verse 22. Fear ye not me, saith the Lord. Will you not tremble at my presence, which have uh, placed the sand for the bound of the sea, by perpetual decree that it cannot pass it 
And though the waves thereof toss themselves, yet can they not prevail. Though they roar, yet can they not pass over it. So we're dealing with a power man who, through his power, controls a big body of water, right? The sea. Okay, the sea is a big body of water, but somehow it doesn't pass the sand. Somehow the water that doesn't come just gushing uh, uh, into the land space, man. And that's all controlled by Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, and you're not you're not gonna fear the Lord. You see, Jake Jake don't understand, man. They don't they don't understand the depth of the power of the Lord. And really and truly, neither do we. But we have a, a better understanding than, 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 you know, the average Jake in the world. You see? Let's go to Proverbs 1 and 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. You see? And, and, and that's the, you know, that's the spirit of two-thirds of the nation of Israel, man. They despise wisdom and instruction. They'd rather walk into church on Sunday or, you know, go to the mosque on a Friday and do Juma. okay? You know, they, they, Jake, Jake would uh, uh, rather aspire to be a rapper, you know? Jake don't care about trying to learn about his history, man, trying to learn about the, the name of his true power, you know? Learn that, us Israelites weren't just slaves, man. Because you see, you know, in Esau's system, they like to talk about Black Lives Matter and all that nonsense. But really and truly, the only thing they tell you is you was a fucking slave, man. You know, but Jake, Jake is happy with that. As long as Jake's got his little bag now, he couldn't give a toss what was going on uh, a few hundred years ago, man. You see, Jake don't see past Babylon. Right? Proverbs 1 and 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. And that's why Jake is so wicked as well, man. Because they don't have that fear of the Lord in them. Because if they did fear the Lord, you know, they, they, uh, uh, they'd want to live more, uh, you know, uprightly. You know, stop eating pork, stop committing adultery, you know, learning not the ways of the heathen, so on and so forth, man. But Jake, Jake is fully engrossed in it, man. Okay. But the Lord is going to show, ultimately, the whole world why he should be feared. Okay, you're, you're dealing with a power that, that's omni omnipotent, that's all-powerful, man, and omnipresent, meaning, you know, the Lord is everywhere, man. There ain't no ducking and diving the Lord. The, the Lord is every, everywhere, man. Okay. Let's go to uh, the book of Isaiah. Chapter 45 and verse 7 And it reads I form the light and create darkness I make peace and create evil I, the Lord, do all these things Okay The Lord is in control of all things, man There's not one thing that goes on on earth That the Lord hasn't sanctioned Right, let's go to you know, Let's get a precept to back that up this is Sirach chapter 18 and verse 1 and it reads He that liveth forever have created all things in general And don't, you know, it isn't one of the names for the heavenly father Yahweh, um, the ancient of days Right? It says he that liveth forever hath created all things in general The Lord only is righteous and there is none other but he So there ain't no Allah, no Buddha, no Jesus you know, you know, uh, some some of these people in the world try and teach you that you know, yeah, just just believe in your own God and yeah, you know, yeah, we just do that, just just pray to your God and we believe in our God and yeah, man, we, you know, that can run. And really and truly, there's only one true power, man. And let's even further back that up. So let's go to the book of Isaiah. <clears throat> Chapter 44 Let's go straight to the point Verse 8 Fear ye not, neither be afraid Have not I told thee From that time 
and have declared it. Ye are even my witnesses. Is there a God beside me? Yeah. There is no, there is no God. I know not any. So there ain't no Allah, no Buddha, no Jesus. Or whoever the hell you want to call upon, man. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and the name of His only begotten Son is Yahweh Shai. Okay? There ain't no other power out there, man. So back to Sirach 18. Verse 3 Who governeth the world with the palm of His hand, and all things obey His will? For He is the King of all, by His power, dividing holy things. Among them from profane. Okay. So the elect are being divided. From 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 you know. The wicked two third Jake. And these other nations man. Dividing holy things. Among them from profane. Right. But you see the Lord. It says. Who governeth the world with the palm of his hand. So there's not one thing that goes down. And the Lord ain't sanctioned it man. And this is why. You need to fear the Lord because really and truly, uh, the, the more you understand this truth, the more you realize you don't really run shit, man. Yeah, you thought you thought um, you had control over your life and some sort of power. You, you don't, man. You know, you don't even get to decide when you want to piss shit, right? The Lord does, though. Okay, this is the power to be feared, man. You know, you got niggas out here talking about, oh, yeah, I'm self-made, I'm self... No, you ain't, man. The Lord made you, right? Which brings me to uh, First Samuel. Lord, will Lord willing, this lesson be edifying, man. You know, just a few precepts on fearing the Lord. First Samuel 2 and 6, the Lord killeth... And make it alive. You know, everyone want to blame it on Satan. Oh, yeah. Oh, the devil. Yeah, well, look, man. The devil takes orders from the Heavenly Father, man. On his left-hand side. Okay. It says, The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up. So, so, you know, you want to talk about self-made, man. You ain't self-made, man. The Lord put you on. Right? But Jake don't have this understanding, so therefore they don't fear the Lord, man. So Jake gets all prideful, you know, thinking it was done via his own means. You know, he gets all lofty. But, you know, scriptures say, what, Matthew 23. And whosoever shall exalt themselves shall be abased. Okay? Which ultimately is talking about the Edomites. You know, they're, they're, they're in very, very lofty positions right now. But, you know, you two third Jake, you follow, you follow in the same vibration, man, as Esau Edom. Okay? Let's go to the book of Sirach. Chapter 11, verse 14. Prosperity and adversity, life and death... Poverty and riches come of the Lord. You see? These all come from the Heavenly Father, man. About your self-made. Yeah, there ain't nothing as self-made, man. That don't exist. Let's read on. Verse 15. Wisdom, knowledge and understanding of the law are of the Lord. Love and the way of good works are from him okay so you know you've actually got the lord operating with his remnant who have them uh filled with the wisdom knowledge and understanding of the law right which ultimately is gonna um, um, um bring us onto salvation man you see and you know, if you if you if you um if you desire if your desire being like in a if your desires in like um thorns and scepters, right, being in position of rulership, then you have to seek wisdom, man. You know, you got Jake selling out here, 
you know, trying to secure the bag on this side and Esau Edom's kingdom, man. But really and truly, man, you, you know, um, in the kingdom, we're going to inherit the, the whole earth, man. The whole entire universe under Yahweh Shai. Right? How about that? You know, let's go to Wisdom of Solomon in uh, chapter 6 real quick. Wisdom of Solomon 6. Start at verse 17. For the very true beginning of her desire of discipline and the care of discipline is love. And love is the keeping of the laws. Right, that's what true love is. And giving heed unto her laws is the assurance of incorruption. That's why we need to stay stay in the spirit, man. Stay in, uh, uh, you know, uh, reading the Bible, doing videos, going out to the camp, uh, 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 watching sit-downs, okay? Because giving heed unto her laws is the assurance of incorruption, Okay? And incorruption maketh us nearer unto the Most High. You see that? Therefore, the desire of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom. So, you know, as I said, you got Jake on this side and they're trying to rise up to lofty positions in Esau Edom's world, which really and truly, you're, you're nothing more than like a house Negro, man. You're just a house slave. You ain't in the field. So yeah, you might have a, a slightly nicer quality of living. But you know, you, you, you still in, in slavery, man. You still in subjection underneath this devil, man. You still ain't got power. You can't use your money to go and build up your, your so-called hometown in Africa, right? Because Jake won't, I mean, not Jake, Esau won't allow you, man. You know, cut the funds, freeze the account, so on and so forth. Why do you think you've got all these jakes that, you know, make a name for themselves in this world, get themselves a little bag, but all they do is blow it on, on, on money, cars, clothes, holes, jewellery, you know, things of that nature, man. Because that, that's really all they, they can do with that money, man. And ultimately, none of that shit don't mean shit, right? And when you've done that a one, two, few times... You know, you, you don't even do it because you love it anymore. You just do it just, just because you can, you know. But but the but the whole enjoyment factor of it, um, 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 it diminishes, man. It's a bit like when you're playing a game and then you finally clock it. You know, you complete the whole game, you know. Then it's like you've done everything you needed to strive for. Like, like what's next? You see, but in our kingdom, there's always going to be something to do, man. The Heavenly Father is always going to be creating new things. The universe is going to be forever expanding. You know, the, 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 the wonders of the Lord is going to forever fill the earth, man. You see, Esau, Edom, he's operating, he's ruling this world under a very um, low vibration, man. Okay, but you, you wait and see what the Lord is going to make out of the kingdom of Israel, man. You know, it's going to be beautiful. We we ain't never going to run out of things to do. Even the way we um uh, bring judgment upon you, you heathens, man. You know, we're we're gonna have never ending ways to to um, um bring you hell, man. You know, especially you you devils, man. You you Edomites. You know, we're constantly going to be conjuring up new ways to to inflict hell on you. And you know, what's that Isaiah thirty three and eighteen? Thine heart shall meditate terror. So yeah, we're in our right, man. You know, meditating on how, how we're going to, you know, get down with you in the kingdom, man. How we're going to inflict judgment in the kingdom, man. Okay. So yeah, man, back to wisdom of Solomon 6 and 20. Therefore, the desire of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom. If your delight be in thrones and scepters, O ye kings of the people, honor wisdom that ye may reign forevermore. And you see, in our kingdom, man, there ain't going to be no Edomite rise up against us and prevails, man, and, and takes the kingdom and then we're back into slavery, man. No, this is going to be a perpetual rulership 
for the nation of Israel, man, beginning with Yahweh Shai. Okay? So this is beautiful, man. Anyways, let me get back to the topic. So let's go to Amos chapter 3. And uh, verse 6. And it reads, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? And who's blowing the trumpet, man? The, the, the prophets teaching his word in truth and sincerity. You know, we're, we're the ones blowing the, uh, um, um, the trumpet, man. And and really, it should be invoking fear in the people. But, you know, people hear this word and they dismiss it. Really and truly, it's only instilling that fear in the elect. Whoever the elect may be out there, man. Okay. That's why, why do you think Habakkuk said, I've heard thy speech and was afraid, man. You know, prophets would, would be sick and, and, and would bug out, man, when, when the Lord would uh, uh, show the visions of the times that we're we're uh, about to head into now, man, and niggas are still playing games, man. Niggas are still calling on Jesus Christ. Niggas are still calling on Allah, you know. But but you know, it is where it is, man. The, you know the scriptures say, the Lord has chosen their delusions, man. All right, the deceived and the deceiver are His. Okay. Uh, let's read on. Shall there be evil in a city? Right, evil. What's that? Bad times, right? And the Lord have not done it. You know, so, so you know, as I said, everyone likes to blame everything on, oh, that's Satan. That's the devil. Right? But it says, shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it, man. This is why you got to fear the Lord, man. Okay? This is why you have to fear the Lord. Okay? Verse 7, surely the Most High will do nothing, but he... Revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. So yeah, even though they're secrets, which the Lord reveals unto us. Okay. It's, it's still the prophet's duty to go out and teach. And make these secrets known unto the people. Uh, uh, um, you know, in hopes that, that he brings uh, an elect member over to the bidding, man. Okay. But once again, man, majority of our people don't want to listen, man. And, and that's exactly how it has to be. Okay. But you see, when, when the judgment of the Lord rains down upon these people, then they're going to know, oh, shit. And that's when people are going to know the, 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 uh, um, the power of the Lord, man. Okay. The Lord is getting ready to make known his power. And that's, that's really why this devil's been uh, risen up. Just so that the Lord can uh, show his power. And imagine if you was a god. You know, and, and, and you got all this power, you know, you can do all these things, you know, wouldn't you want to uh, 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 build up a wicked kingdom, right? Have the wicked ruling, let the wicked reach the, the height of their sins, just so that you can show your power by bringing forth judgment upon them, just to show what you can do. You know, if, if you was a God, you probably want to do the same, man, you know, why not? All right, the Heavenly Father, he can do whatever the hell he wants, quite frankly. Okay, because remember, Esau, Edom is the basest of men. Yeah, he's ruling over us, man. You know, you've got uh, so-called King Charles celebrating uh, well, this coronation nonsense tomorrow. I, I'll be honest with you, I don't really know too much about it. I don't really keep up with all this worldly nonsense, man. I don't, I don't give a shit. They ain't the true royal monarchy, man. That's not them. They ain't the people. They're not fit to rule. Okay. You wait until Yahweh Shai uh, is set up as king. Right? So yeah, man, the, the, the Lord reveals his secrets unto his servants, the prophets, man. And one of the secrets is to fear the Lord. You know? You have to fear Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, you can't be walking around there all proud and, and high-minded, man. You know? Let's go to Revelation 6. Verse 15, and the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bondman and every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains and said to the mountains and rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne, Yahweh, 
and from the wrath of the Lamb, Yahweh Shai. For the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? And you see, this, this is the thing, man. Uh, what's that, Jeremiah 5? Fear ye not me. You know, all you Jakes think it's cool to go about, you know, sinning willfully, you know, just being in the world, following after the customs of the heathen. You, you Jakes think that's cool, man. You know, that, that's in, in, in fashion right now. That's in style. It's trendy. Gets you the clout that you want, right? But you see, look, for the great day of his wrath is come and who shall be able to stand? Who, who's going to be able to stand against uh, the Lord in that day, man? You, you, <laughs> see, but it's cool though, man, because, you know, at the end of the day, remember the Lord is doing all of this just so he can show his power, man. Okay? Because the earth is for, has forgotten about the power of the Lord. Right? Let's go to the book of Proverbs. 20. Verse 24. Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? And you see, so really and truly, even coming into this truth, you didn't have any control over that, man. You didn't have any control over you receiving the wisdom, knowledge and understanding of the Bible. Neither did those who do not have the understanding of this of the wisdom, knowledge and understanding of the Bible. They don't have any control uh, on whether they, they're going to get it or not, man. So that's, that's a scary thing as well, man. You know, you don't have control on uh, whether you're going to endure until the end or not. You can only hope that the Lord puts his spirit on you to endure until the very end. But, but at the end of the day, you can't understand your own way, man. Why? Because uh, uh, um, the Lord is the one that's directing your steps, man. Okay? The Lord is the one that directs our steps. Let's quickly uh, bring out Jeremiah 10 to back that up. Is, is it 10 or 23 and 10? I think it might be 23 and 10. Okay, maybe it was 10. So lucky. 23 yeah oh lord i know that the way of man is not in himself it is not in man that walketh to direct his steps you see so you, you ain't got no control man over your, your own body your thoughts and what you do and everything man the lord is in control of all things man he's omnipotent okay um, there was another scripture I was going to bring out to back that And it's just left my mind Damn uh, Oh yeah The word of Yahweh Job 33 Verse 1 Job 33 In a dream in a vision of the night While deep sleep falleth upon men In the slumberings of the bed Then he openeth up the ears of men And sealeth their instruction that he may withdraw man from his purpose and hide pride from man. So yeah, you can go sleep the night before talking about you're going to do this and you're going to do that. So lucky, I just received a phone call uh, that interrupted the video. But um, damn, what was I saying? Um, yeah, man, so you can go sleep one night talking about you're going to do this and you're going to do that. And then, um, you know, when you wake up the following morning... And you wake up the following morning and, and, and then you go throughout your day and, you know, it, it, it just don't go to plan, okay? Because you're not in control, man. Your steps are controlled by a higher power, all right? And this is why you need to fear Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahashai because if you, if you want to bug you out and make you not have the understanding of the truth or not remember the name... You know, he, he has the power to do that, man. Okay. Let's bring out this final precept. Hebrews 10 and 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Okay. So we don't we don't want to fall into the hands of the Lord, man, because because you know he's coming with great wrath and destruction. Okay, and that's why it's important to fear him, man. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of all wisdom. We don't want to be like these fools out here where folly is set in great dignity and that's all they seem to uh, care about, man, and labouring. Okay. 
So yeah, man, I just wanted to bring out a few precepts concerning fearing the Lord, man. You know, uh, we always got to be in that spirit of fearing Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, and you know, doing the best to, um, you know, and doing the things that please them uh, uh, to the best of our ability, you know. So yeah, man, that's all I wanted to uh, bring out in today's lesson. Um, with that, let me say shalom.